solved. The Zodiac Killer case. Subject has left the hospital. The Blue Rock Springs attack on July 4th, 1969. The man appeared to have a very large face, was not wearing glasses. He looked to be between 26 and 30 years old, had short, curly, light brown hair. To Mike Mayju, the man's build was beefy, heavy set, without being blubbery fat. He had a slight pot belly, combed hair up in kind of a pomodor. Griffin Raymond Franklin Jr. Is he the Zodiac Killer? The patient is identified as Griffin Raymond Franklin. 20 years of age, date of birth 1-1149, 6 foot 2, 230 pounds had previously reported that this subject had left the hospital on a pass Friday evening, September 26, 69, and returned to the hospital Monday afternoon, September 29, 69. This subject also spent time in the Air Force and was discharged from the Air Force in January 1969 for psychiatric problems. According to the doctors at the hospital, this subject was capable of committing this kind of crime. In 1950, little one-year-old Griffin Jr. lived with his parents in Vallejo at 509 Ridge Avenue. In 1956, six-year-old Griffin lost his father who was a veteran of World War I and World War II. In 1962, his mother, who was born in Colorado, remarried to Charles O'Neill Dixon. During the time of the Zodiac murders, Griffin lived here at 114 Hollywood Avenue. During this time, Darlene Farron worked at Harry's Waffle House in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. And in the blue oval is where Betty Lou Jensen lived. And just north of that is Hogan High School. And the blue circle up there is downtown Napa, where the payphone was that Zodiac called from. And in the blue rectangle is where the Napa State Hospital was. According to Ranger Sergeant William White, the male victim, Brian Hartnell, related to him that the subject advised him he was an ex-con out of Colorado and was en route to Mexico. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved, and this was supposed to be part two of Lake Berryessa. I found this suspect intriguing, so I wanted to provide the information to you. See you next weekend.